Helen opened the doors of the Center for Women more than 40 years ago. And since then, more than 100,000 people have come to us for help, ideas, innovation, and training. I found the Center for Women, and specifically the Women's Business Center, uh, when I was looking for a way to grow my practice. I got involved in the program because I wanted to put something on my resume that said I knew something about construction. So I was looking for help with my resume initially, and that's when I stumbled upon the Center for Women. So I didn't see how the skills that I had as a mom and in my prior work experience were translatable to today's world. We originally reached out to the program to aid my sister with a number of health uh, disabilities that she has. So why did you start coming to the Center for Girls? Because I think my life would change. We actually engaged the Center for Women in a partnership to provide um, manufacturing training. The mentorship that I received at the Women's Business Center really helped me to identify what my strengths were as a business owner and also you know, as a community organizer, but also to recognize what I really needed help with. After the classes, I would, I would be able to go to work the next day and use what I learned in the field. A better understanding of um, my value you know, as, as a person in the workforce and as a woman also. The ceiling had termites and the floors had termites. They took care of that. They gave me a whole new kitchen, two bathrooms. They just did it all. I can't express how much they've done and they were so kind. You're an ambassador, so what does that make you feel? How do you feel about being an ambassador? Like, it makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. And like, it doesn't make me feel embarrassed, but it makes me feel like encouraged. Encouraged? What about confident? Confident as well. It benefits the people in our community and uh, there are no restrictions on who can take place. Our faculty and staff can also t take advantage of these services. So the resources from the Center for Women um, help me to identify my strengths and weaknesses um, as a business owner and entrepreneur. Currently, I'm working in construction, I'm working in the field, um, I'm painting, I'm installing ceramic tile, I'm doing demo work, and uh, general construction, rehabbing homes. Working with the employment services and the counseling, I now have a job. I now work at McKinney Wealth Management. I'm the director of client services. It really has been a lifesaver for her both with her physical disabilities and her emotional health. The Center for Girls has been much more of a, um, it's given more improvement in the quality of her life as a whole. So thank you from the Brandon campus of Hillsborough Community College to Anne and the Center for Women for this wonderful partnership. I just want to say thank you to the Center for Women and the Women's Business Center for helping me to identify uh, what it was that I wanted to do with my practice and help to get my feet on the ground to be the best entrepreneur that I could be and the best mom that I could be. Thank you to the Center for Women and the Women Building Futures program for helping me to gain a valuable um, certificate for my resume and helping me move up in the construction industry. I don't think I could have done it without the confidence in seeing what skills I had. I would have never considered even that industry before coming to the Center for Women. Every, every individual that we dealt with was clearly one of, that's what we want to do too. We want to keep her happy and keep her in her home. Um, and I need to say that it truly has succeeded. Thank you for empowering me to be a future leader of tomorrow. I know Helen would be so proud today to see all the sponsors and supporters who make this luncheon possible. She would be thrilled with our honorees, Susie Orman and Patty Moses. Again, welcome to Waves of Change. We're delighted you could be here today.